All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I'm going to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rechak, Wadash. Double unto the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. But peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. And I just wanted to do a quick response to the elder Manatha Zagba's lesson that he did. Uh, the I don't do camps demon. And every once in a while, you know, we uh, encounter Jake like that, that uh, figure they're going to, you know, learn from a group, but they're going to keep themselves on the outside. You know, they have no intention of, you know, coming in up under the order. You know, they have no uh, intentions on, you know, coming in to actually build, you know, to be instructed. They just you know, want to receive the benefits and perks of, you know, being in the, in the, uh, the church without necessarily being a part of it. And, uh, that's not how it works. All right. You know, scriptures talk about, you know, the guys that'll be in it, but only for their own reasons, you know, and, uh, we, in this thing of ours, you know, we're not dealing with uh, individualism. We're not dealing with, uh, you know, selfishness. You know, we're not dealing with somebody who's who, who who figures, you know, they're too good to be a part of the body, the collective. You know, we don't need such an individual around us. You think it's some type of evil to be a part of a company of men who all believe the same thing, that speak the same thing, that are in unison. You know, because uh, the opposite of, 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 you know, collective unity <laughs> is somebody that's individual, somebody that's on their own. All right, and, and, the, and the scriptures talk about, you know, brotherly unity. Yeah, Psalms 133 and 1, it says, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. All right, and, and you know, the, your, the, the, the Heavenly Father is setting up a unit of men. All right, and they're all going to be on the same accord. All right, they're going to have, they're going to serve the same interests. All right, they're going to be one and the same when it comes to judgment. Because we're a body. Imagine trying to be a limb that's not trying to be attached to the rest of the body. How's that going to work out? What good is that limb? You either come in to be useful, to, to help the body function, or you just, you, you stay away. All right? <clears throat> but... You know, I get it. Some some guys, you know, they're leery of joining a, a camp because of, you know, some of the reputations that's out there. You know, certain uh, groups doing the most, you know, misrepresenting. So Jake feel a little resentment to join a group because they think all the groups carry themselves that particular way. But um, you got to get over that, you know. And it's, and it's based on your discernment. You have to discern if that group is for you or not. And you really should judge based off of not only just the conduct, but also the doctrine. Because there's going to be a group of men that have the 100% true doctrine. Okay? As a matter of fact, <clears throat> I said that with Malachi, where, you know, basically you, you should be able to discern who serve the most high and who and who don't because you got men out there that's serving their own bellies you got you got hirelings out there that's out there just for the the filthy lucre okay and then you got the men out there who has the truth and they're not uh corrupting the word they're not using gimmicks they're not coming in their own spirit but you got to judge that and it's based on you know uh your faith 
This is Malachi 3 and 16. It says, Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spare of his own son that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. All right, so if you're of the elect, you're going to, uh, the Lord will give you that spirit of discernment to judge, you know, who's really serving the Lord and who isn't. You're going to be able to judge the, the, the true prophets from the false prophets. And you got to try the spirit by the spirit, whether they be of the most high. And if those are, you know, if, if, if the spirit is uh, uh, impelling you, you know, to, to, to you know, because you figure, and this doctrine is, is, is starting to, it's striking a chord with me. You know, I'm thinking, I believe that these are, are the men. Well, hey, get with them. Because uh, you're, you're, you, I don't think, I don't know what you think you're doing, you know, just being alone, all right? And, and, you know, basically you, you by yourself, you know, so you without uh, a company, you know, you, you, that means that you're walking around without counsel, all right? You're self-willed, you, 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 you're doing what you think in your own eyes is, is right. When you don't have a group of men that can help to steer you in the right direction. All right. The Lord don't need that. But we're a body. And don't ever think that you're too good to be a part of a body. All right. This is uh, Romans 12. And uh, starting at verse 3, it says, For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. And, you know, you, these guys with that attitude, that mentality of, well, I'm not going to join no camp. I don't I don't really do that whole camp thing. Well, do you think you, 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 uh, you're higher than, than the men that are part of the body? You know, I'm, I'm going to just separate myself and. You know, I'm 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 a, I'm gonna be on the outside, you know, because I I you know I don't I don't know about you know camps, and you you know you think it from the perspective of the world, because the world you know they look down upon us, so you don't want to come up under that scrutiny. You don't want to be ostracized. You're probably thinking, man, what if I join this camp and then my family start to look at me crazy, or what if I go through this or go through that? What if I start getting persecuted or, you know, evil things start happening? Because I, I know how Jake think. The Lord said, if, if, if you come to, to, to follow me, you know, you got to take up the cross. You got to deny yourself, man, the, the hell with your feelings. All right, the hell with, with, with you know, with, with evil thoughts. If you feel like the presence of the Lord is there, then that's a no-brainer. The Lord said, my, he said, my sheep hear of my voice and they follow me. And they not, they, they didn't follow the Lord uh, individually. Because they were a company of men. They were a body. There was a collective of believers. So, <clears throat> you too good for that? This is what the scriptures say. All right. To every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as the Most High have dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, that so we all got different purposes, even though we're in, in, in the same body. Okay, just like all the organs in your body have different functions, but it's all for 
uh, the, 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 the function of your body. Okay. So we being many are one body in Yahweh Shai and every one members one of another. Okay. So we don't think as you, uh, each individual that's a part of the collective, we don't think of any individual as less than, you know, the other. All right. Everybody is just as important, especially if everybody is functioning properly and doing what they were or uh, ordained. All right. So, <clears throat> you know, we don't have, we don't we don't have the spirit, the, the spirit of ind individuality in this thing of ours. And, and that's how, you know, in this world, that's what it, it, it teaches. You know, not to be family oriented. To, you know, get it on your own. You know, get it from the mud, you know, by yourself. Me before you, me first. I, 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 me, me, me. You know, self-independence. Uh, Let me get uh, this real quick in Philippians. Philippians 2 and, and 3, it says, Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each other, it's like a let each esteem others better than themselves. You see that? Matter of fact, let me, let me uh, start at the top. It says, If there be therefore any consolation in a Mashiach, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bows and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. You know, but somebody that's uh, by themselves, you know, how would they be able to know, you know, of, of, of our conduct and, you know, uh, our, our standards, our judgments, you know? You, 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 you be lost, you be out of sync. You basically you 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 would not be able you wouldn't belong because you don't know how the body functions. It says, "Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind let each other let each esteem others better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. You know, because." You know, we're here for each other. We do these labor when we do these labors, we're not laboring just for ourselves. We're laboring for others also. All right. And, and and the body is made up of what? Apostles, prophets, teachers. Ephesians 4 and 11, it says, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. And, the, and, and these men would all be a part of one body. They would not be acting on their own, their own accord. We'd all be in, in, this, in the same mind, all right, of, of one faith, one baptism. All right, speaking the same thing, teaching the same doctrine. It says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai. So we all come in a unity of the faith. So it's a collective coming in as a as a a, a unit. All right, we, we we're still one in in a Mashiach, but there's many of us. And of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of a Mashiach. Okay, so we all a a a, a joint together fitly fitly joined together okay and if you own some individual stuff then you're without it then what good you know are you and that's not to say that you're not going to have certain believers that's not you know it's really not their office 
to be a prophet or a teacher, but at least if you still want to be a part of it, you you would have to at least support it in some type of way. Be it, you know, be a, a, a asset. You know, be someone that's that that adds to it, even though you not functioning in, in a major office. But it's going to come a point in time where you're going to have to, <laughs> you know, do something. Because by yourself, you're lost. You need you, you need some type of guidance, you need instruction, you need advice, you need counsel. And how are you going to have that without, you know, men? And as far as the the, the, uh, the camp goes, you had uh, groups of men prophesying in groups. There's Apostle Paul right here. First Corinthians 14 and 29, it says, let the prophet speak two or three and let the other judge. So you, know, you can have a camp of two, three. That's a camp of prophets. It says, if anything be revealed to another that sitteth by, let the first hold his peace. For you may all prophesy one by one that all may learn and all may be comforted. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. And all the prophets are back in their lots in, this la in these last days. Especially here in Babylon the Great, which you heard the, uh, the elder, you know, he brought the, the prophecy out in Revelation. All right, how when the Lord destroys America... He would be then avenge, you know, the holy apostles and prophets, you know, with destroying this place. Because the prophets, you know, they prophesied in Babylon. We're here in Babylon now. All right. <clears throat> so let me go from there. To, let me go to this account of numbers. I always bring this up when it comes to this topic. Because Jake act like it's, you know, it's something evil about a group of men. You know, coming together and, and serving the Lord and, and prophesying, you know, because their mindset is, well, there's cult, there's uh, cults out there. And they look at the, uh, the 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 comfies and the Yahweh bin Yahweh's and, you know, these these cult like figures, these false prophets, false messiahs with those cult of personalities. And they think that, you know, I don't want to be a part of that, you know. But um. That's why it's on you to discern. But some men are going to have uh, false reports. It tells you that in Corinthians, man, by, by good report and by evil report. The Lord said, uh, blessed is he when men shall uh, speak evil of you. You know, I shall revile you and, and, and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. So you're going to have men who have a... a they have a false report based on a certain reputation that's out there. But, be, you know, because even Yahweh himself, they spoke evil of him. They spoke evil of his, of his disciples. But we know that, you know, they were true men of the Lord. So, <clears throat> it's on you at the end of the day. And if you are of the elect, you're going to, the Lord is going to draw you in. Because it's not of us. We can't make you join. If you of the elect, the Lord's going to, he's going to put that spirit on you. And, you know, you're going to be compelled. All right. There's a, a Numbers 11 and 26. It says, but there remain two of the men in the camp. The one, the name of the one was Eldad and the name of the other, Medad. And the spirit rested upon them. So these are two men. The spirit came on, came upon them. And they were of them that were written, but went not out unto the tabernacle. And they prophesied in the camp. So were these two men, were they wicked for being in a camp? And there ran a young man and told Moses and said, Eldad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the, Mo the servant of Moses, one of his young men answered and said, My Lord Moses forbid them. And Moses said unto him, Envious thou for my sake, with the most high that all, it's like it would the most high power that all the Lord's people were prophets, 
and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. And, and Moses got him into the camp and he and the elders of Israel. So he said the, the most I would rather that all the Lord's people were prophets. All right. And that's basically what we are. We're, we're a company of prophets. All right. Serving, you know, uh, 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 being fellow laborers among each other. We prophesy in groups. Those are camps. So you can't demonize something that, you know, the Lord actually established. All right. And we happen to be out in the streets like the scriptures tell us to. Go out into the, into the streets and in the lands of the city. Go out into the highways and hedges and bid to the marriage. Wisdom cry without she utter for a voice in, in, in the streets. In the chief places of, of concourse. So, you know, I mean, it ain't, it's, Jake act like some angel is going to come down from heaven and, and, and just, you know, directly teach them like their Apostle Paul or somebody. Or, or you know, somebody, like they're somebody special. Or the Lord himself is going to come down levitating and he's going to have a book in his hand and he's going to sit them down and, and, and teach them. No, man. All of us were taught. And the spirit came upon all of us when we learned. So, you know, I mean, you can have that individual spirit if you want. But uh, it's not going to uh, do you good in, in the long run. Because it says in Ecclesiastes, even two is better than one. And if you if you fall in, you have another fellow that'll lift you back up. You can't get that on your own. So anyway, <clears throat> like I said, I was going to, you know, do a, just a quick response. All right. And uh, Lord willing, this was edified. Let me give all praise to Yahweh Shai. And then to the next one, Shalom.